Good morning, Your Grace. You called for me. Your, your personal attendant? No, I'd be honored to, Your Grace. I'm simply surprised. Well, you've been here for about a year now, and you never let anyone very close to you, so I, I simply didn't expect such an honor. I would love to be your personal attendant. <laughs> so, does that mean you need my help to get ready for today? Of course. <laughs> With the dress as well. Oh. You'd like to dress yourself. <laughs> All right, I understand. So, your hair then? Of course. I have been paying very close attention to how you like to wear your hair. Well, I thought that perhaps someday you would ask me for help. I simply wanted to be prepared. <laughs> very well. <laughs> I will have to get used to this, Your Grace. I believe your hair looks much healthier now. Since you came here and everything started to get better for everyone. While the other maids and I still cannot quite believe you allowed us to stay here. We worked for Cersei Lannister, after all. So, we expected you to throw us out. <laughs> and you have treated us more kindly than Cersei Lannister ever did in just this one year. We are truly grateful. Do not take it for granted. You've done quite a lot of good things for King's Landing. In just a year. In all the time that I've been here, which has been quite long, I've been here since I was a child. I was always trained to become a maid. And I've never seen the citizens so happy, truly happy. They are celebrating and singing and dancing. <laughs> I never thought I would see something like that. You have to give yourself more credit. Things could have gone so much differently. But until the end, you chose the good, kind path. Now you have the people's trust. Of course, there are very few rebellious groups, but you will always have that, Your Grace. I'm sure you've experienced it before. You've been to many places, haven't you? In Marine? I've always wanted to go to Marine. I've heard the stories of you. How you went there and what you did. I would have loved to see it. With my own eyes. I would have loved to see the pyramids of Marine. Must have been quite a sight. I've heard that Marine itself is like a gemstone underneath the burning sun. And that there are such wide yellow deserts surrounding it. I can only imagine 
how it must have felt when the slaves you freed called you Misa. That must have been incredible. Did they truly lift you up? That must have been quite a sight. I can only imagine Sir Jorah might have been um, worried. How is he doing recently? He hasn't been here for a while. Better. That's good. He was quite lucky to have survived that. Better. Was so badly wounded when you first brought him here, but and I heard that he even wanted to fight here as well, in case Cersei wouldn't have surrendered. He tried to, <laughs> and then you told him to stay in Winterfell. He cares for you so much. It must be nice to have someone you can trust as much as him. Well, he's made mistakes, yes, but... Now you truly know that his loyalty lies with you. Your Grace, perhaps before you go to sleep tonight, might I put some oil in your hair? I think it would be good to keep it as healthy as it is now. Of course. There is special rose oil that I would like to show you. I would use it if it weren't so expensive. But for you, it won't be quite so expensive, I believe. Yes, one moment. My apologies, Your Grace. It seems a letter has arrived. I will bring it to you. Yes, yes, I, I can read it for you, of course. from Jon Snow, Your Grace. He's on his way back to King's Landing. Arya Stark has reunited with her sister, Queen Sansa. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Your Grace, Jon Snow seems to have met uh, Lady Brienne of Tart and Sir Jaime Lannister together, in a tavern, on his way here. They were going south. But he didn't ask why, apparently. At least it doesn't say in the letter. <laughs> oh no, that's all. So Jon Snow is returning. quite happy to hear that Lady Brienne of Tart and Sir Jamie are spending time together. Surely you must have heard the stories. 
<laughs> yes, I am one of these people. It would be so romantic. Well, who knows, maybe they are spending time together for some very different reason, but a girl can hope. Are you still worried about Sir Jamie, Your Grace? You mustn't be, truly. Sir Jamie used to be very arrogant, and he made mistakes, but deep down he is a kind man. And what happened to Cersei Lannister was inevitable. She would have never simply surrendered given you King's Landing just like that, without any price. She would always have looked for a way to ruin your life, your grace. Always. And so Jamie knows that. You do not have to worry. Even if, for some reason, Sir Jamie would want to fight you all of a sudden, what army would he have against your Dothraki? And now, the army of King's Landing, who are undoubtedly on your side, with all the good you've done for them, and all the other citizens, who would he fight with? I mean, I suppose you could always make alliances, but an alliance with you, Your Grace, would always, always be more profitable for all of the houses. So you don't have to worry. And, well, it seems like Sir Jamie might have found a new purpose now. can rest assured that nothing will happen, and if it does, you have so many people who have your back, now more than ever. Seems like some of the bristles are getting stuck in your hair. I will tell the hunters to hunt for more boars. Looks like these are too old now. see on the other side. Oh dear. How fascinating. A Targaryen whose hair is not just silvery blonde, but also has some black hair in it. Surely that has never happened before. There we go. 
What are you going to do today, Your Grace? Is there something important you will have to attend to? A council meeting. <laughs> oh dear. Again. Have you decided who will be your final council members yet? Not yet, I understand. Things like that take their time. You must think very carefully, of course. Consider your best options. But is there anything else today? I was hoping you'd say that, because I would like to show you the new gardens on the big balcony on the other side of the building. Yes, well, when you requested it, I thought that I would put all of my effort into it, and the others as well, of course, but I am. Um, quite happy that you allowed me to decide the layout. I think you will be very happy with it. Like you requested, there are lots of herbs in the garden, and some very beautiful and useful flowers as well. for quite some time now. When you've been to Dragonstone, is it truly as, as dark and grim as they say? And that storms are stronger and wilder than anywhere else? Really? Did it feel like home? you? Well, perhaps if it would not have been so empty when you went there, perhaps then it might have felt like home. But you haven't grown up there, have you? So I suppose it would have never truly felt like home. Do you prefer warmth? Then King's Landing is just right for you. I do believe the sun is good for your health, for your soul. Should I start to braid your hair? Do you prefer something simple for today? Or do you want to make a big impression? Something simple, of course. It's 
it's not like you need to make a big impression anymore. <laughs> Perhaps one day we could hide your hair and sneak out. Of course, we take a guard with us, but I want to show you an inn that I frequently like to go to. They have plays there about your history, as well as the histories of the other houses. House Stark as well. And it can be a lot of fun. And they also have songs. Such wonderful melodies. You simply need to hear them. So if you ever have some time to spare, I would love to take you along with me. the other side. Jon Snow is going to tell you about his time that he spent away from you. Do you think he, he met his old friends from beyond the wall? <laughs> well, if he did, he surely will have quite some interesting stories for us. <laughs> I'm curious about it. You know, life beyond the wall. You've been there, haven't you? It must be quite brutal. But free, they say. But now that we have you here, Freedom is something that everyone can dream of. There we go. I'm going to tie it together at the back of your head, yes. want to tighten your grace. No, very good. Perfect. You look wonderful, your grace. As always. 
Is that um, everything, or do you need help with anything else? A tea, perhaps? Something to eat? Nothing? All right. <laughs> well, if you need anything, please call for me. And then I will immediately help you, of course. And if you do have some time, I would love to show you the new gods. Very well. Goodbye, Your Grace. <laughs>